Howdy, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments Podcast, where I give you my real life stories and their healing translations. So let's just get straight into it. So sometimes when I make burgers in my home, I like to bake them in the oven first. This is something new for me and it's great. Less mess. But anyway, this isn't a cooking show. (laughs) Let's get back to business. So often when I cook those burgers, I remind my children to close the bedroom doors. I've been doing this for years, whether I fry them, bake them, whatever, right? Put them on the foreman grill, whatever, right? And the reason I do that is because I don't want the rooms to smell like meat, right? So when I go to bed, I don't want to sleep in a burger bed. <laughs> and so, and this is obviously a true story. Um, so what spirit is telling me about that is the the actual download is this. Sit in your sorrows, but not so long as to become them. And the way that spirit kind of gives me the translation and is able to equate it to the the burger smell is that oftentimes when we have like negative emotions or what we would perceive as negative emotions, because truly there is no negative, there is no positive, right? But that's a whole nother podcast. But when we have those moments, Yes, it is very important to feel those emotions and not run from them. Can I say emotions anymore? Emotions, emotions, emotions. Anyway, um, you have to be able to feel them in order to heal them, but you have to be mindful within that so as to not allow it to consume you so much where you can no longer differentiate the, the emotion from the personality, right? So if you're feeling angry, you are being mindful as to not become an angry person overall, right? Or if you're feeling sorrow or sorrowful in the moment, you want to be mindful so that you don't become just completely overall sorrowful, right? And, you know, of course, the emotion list goes on and on. Now, there are certain um, caveats to this, of course. Now, certain emotions that you do want to experience or for a longer duration then feel free to sit in them. Happiness, joy, elation, abundance, all of these different things. Now it's up to you because what? You have the power. I have the power. Like He-Man, right? Anyway, so back to the burgers. The thing of it is, oftentimes, like I said, it's easy to confuse what's you from what's the emotion. Because, you know, like if we go back to the restaurant, If you're going for pickup, odds are good you're not going to have the smell on you because you're just going to pick something up and you're walking right back out. However, if you go and sit down, then that's a different story. Or if you go to um, a barbecue or a bonfire or what have you, anything with smoke really, or if you even just smoking a cigarette, right? That smell kind of permeates everything. It gets into your clothing. It gets in your hair. It gets everywhere. And even sometimes after you take a shower, it's still there. Same thing with the emotions. So you have to be mindful about how long you allow yourself to sit in that emotion and not just sit in it, but sit in it without processing because processing is a very important step. You have to almost like get to a place in space where you're like, why am I feeling like this? Why am I truly feeling like this? Because it's easy to look at the surface, right? It's easy to just kind of say I'm angry because I'm angry. It's easy to blame someone. It's But what is not easy is to look at the root cause of everything. And that's an important piece for healing because sometimes it will take you back into your past. And more often than not, actually, it'll take you into your past. And then you're able to kind of sit with your, your child self and say, hey, kiddo, it's okay. I know that this moment made you feel a certain way, but it's okay. We don't have to apply it for everything that happens that even looks similar, right? But I'm kind of getting off track. The bottom line is this. Don't allow the emotions to consume you. Don't allow them to stick to you like like smoke. <laughs> and that's it. So hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down. And if this message resonates, then that means it's for you. And if not, that's cool too. Just keep it pushing. Either way, I thank you for listening and I wish you the very best day ever. Until next time, you know the vibes. Peace.
And by the way, don't forget to look me up on all of social media. I do post different messages on different um, social media outlets. So definitely look me up, share, follow, and do as you feel compelled, right? And remember, it's Marissa with one S because there's only one me. And last but not least, if the spirit moves you, if these messages resonate on any way, shape, or form level, if you feel like you're getting something out of this and would like to contribute to the, the ripple effect of the expansion, then go on ahead and send a donation. Anything and everything is appreciated, truly. And I will also include that in the comments or link it below. So that's it. So until next time, happy healing.